Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Bridget. I'm a nurse practitioner and a nurse educator. In today's video, I'll be going over five cardiac and clock style questions courtesy of nursing.com. Nursing.com is an excellent resource. If you are in nursing school, they have courses, cheat sheets, practice questions, study plans, sim clocks, they have videos and their courses and videos can guide you through nursing school so that you can consolidate studying and focus on what you really need to know. If you want to learn more about uh, nursing.com, check out my affiliate link below. A client in surgical recovery has developed complications associated with hemorrhage. The client will receive invasive hemodynamic monitoring. Which action must the nurse perform before using an internal pressure monitoring system? Invasive hemodynamic monitoring involves insertion of a central catheter that is threaded into the structure of the heart to assess factors such as heart rate and blood pressure. The system is attached to a transducer which converts the pressure to an electrical signal to be read on the monitor. Before using the system, the nurse must ensure the transducer is positioned at the level of the client's atrium to receive a proper reading. You can pause to read the rationales. A client on the cardiac unit complains of chest pain to the nurse. The nurse calls a rapid response and the healthcare provider arrives in the room. Vital signs are as follows. Blood pressure 182 over 98, heart rate 98, respirations 23, temperature 98.9. The nurse orders a STAT EKG per protocol, which shows a widened ST segment, which the following intervention should the nurse implement first. So a widened ST segment, it doesn't say an elevated ST segment, but we are concerned for uh, a myocardial infarction. So uh, we want to prepare the client for an angioplasty. This is a cholesterol medication and they have checked the vital signs um, already. So out of all of them, this is the best answer. A widened ST segment shows STEMI and is a serious condition requiring immediate intervention. The nurse should prepare the client for an angioplasty where the vessels will be open, removing the blockage. So um, I will put an example of what a STEMI looks like. And normally we say like ST elevation, but on a test, they may switch it up every so often. The nice thing about nursing.com too is that there are lessons attached directly if you miss a question. Which of the following is the first link in the chain of survival for resuscitation of an adult cardiac arrest victim? I will try to put that also here, but it's um, activate the emergency response system. The first step in the chain of survival, the first step in the chain of survival for an adult patient is to activate the emergency response system by calling 911. I think that this is a typo here. This is step one. Um, step two is to immediately begin high quality CPR. But the thing is why the activate the emergency response system is correct is because if you were to just immediately start with chest compressions and you don't call 911, who's going to come help you? You could do chest compressions until the cows come home, but you need to call 911 so that EMS is on their way. And then after that is when you can begin the chest compressions. A 28 year old client with no risk factors for heart disease asked the nurse about whether to have cholesterol checks and how often this should be monitored. Which answer from the nurse is correct? You should start following your cholesterol levels after age 40. You should have your cholesterol checked every five years. Cholesterol should be checked every 12 months. There's no need to check cholesterol unless you have other risk factors. You should have your cholesterol checked every five years. Adults age 20 and older with low risk should have their cholesterol levels screened every five years. Cholesterol testing should be done more frequently, more frequently for individuals with risk factors such as older age, obesity, family history of heart disease, history of diabetes, or history of high cholesterol. The nurse preceptor is reviewing EKG graphs with the nursing student. The student is correct in explaining that a six second strip contains how many large boxes? A six second strip is made up of 30 big boxes. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you hit that like button and you smash that subscribe button. I currently have a goal of hitting 30,000 subscribers. I've been at this for three years and um, still haven't reached it. <laughs> um, so it would mean a lot if you subscribed and keep in mind that it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe and you can always unsubscribe later. Until next time.